time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Monday, December 18th. Hope everyone's having a good day. SPX has just been kind of floating and grinding higher all day long. It's a little bit above the expected move. Poked his head into update territory. Quickly reverted back down. Trading just above 47, 46. So the 45 straddles about 580, 590. So that's a little low for myself. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass on trading power hour today. At least tranche one. Tranche two gets into update territory and looking at the premiums, I may I may consider it. If I can get a straddle close to the price, but I'm going to pass on tranche one. As far as my other trades today, uh, let's see. So closed trades, closed uh, one of my re-entries at 50%, closed another one at a little over 60%. Quiet lunch hit 50%. My AM ratio has gotten close. It's gotten into 40 some percent profit. Didn't quite get to 50. It's currently at 16 and a half. Needs a little down move. Got another re-entry that's at 40%. That'll come off at 50. Got another re-entry that's at 13. And I need to trail my stop on that one. So that's what I've done today in zero DTE land. S&P up 30, NASDAQ up 150. Russell is slightly green, so is the Dow. Gold up a little bit, silver down a little bit. Notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up about a half percent. Oil up one and a half percent, natty gas up 1%. Soybeans up 1%, wheat down almost two, corn down almost or a little over one. Euro slightly green, pound slightly red, Bitcoin down a little over 1%. VIX at 12.4, oh, excuse me, yeah, 12.46, up 1.5%. And SPX at 47.47. Sharky shark. Yeah, I'm just letting the shark ride. I was looking at adding like a long put vertical to take care of that sag down there, but I haven't done anything yet. So I'm just going to, I'm just holding for now. My AM ratio needs a down move. Did anybody hit profit target on their AM ratio? Mine got close. Was it 40? Mm 
I mean, it doesn't need much of a down move now to hit profit target down to about 43. So about four points lower should get the should hit it. We've just been chopping sideways above the expected move line here since about 11 a.m. Central. Had a six month bill option uh, auction at ten thirty. Doesn't look like that did much. Yeah, uh, Elliot, on mine, I've got, I've got. Uh, basically I've got two different re-entry bots. And so, cause I'm doing like half positions on each one, but so one of them doesn't have a profit target and the other one is at 50%. So like my one that's at 40%, it's got a 50% profit target. So I'll let that one hit. Uh, this one has no profit target, so I would let that one ride. Yeah, I'm just not trading tranche one if it's under six bucks, Cody. You can you can back test it. It's more of a risk versus reward decision and yeah, I mean, it certainly doesn't backtest as well as normal power hour, but. Just not interested in that kind of risk reward. Using my stops here. Did do a little futures trading today. I am still currently short the Russell and I am short silver. So silver, I got out of a portion of mine at the close to the bottom and then it, it bounced. So I'm still short. I'll close, probably close that one pretty soon. And then um, also short Russell. Down a little bit on that one, and then I booked a little over 1900 on soybeans. So that was a nice trade. I'm going to be doing a Let's see, let's look at this now. 
I'm going to be doing some calendars here. Looking at a two, three, one, four, two, four. Uh, I'm definitely going to do a one, four. I think I'll do a one four and a two four, skip the two three. And I'll do those at two thirty, so here in about thirty minutes. Oh, something hit. That must have been my one of my re-entries hit fifty percent. Yep. Come on down. The AM ratio land. Couple more points. That would make for a good Monday, my friends. We can get this AM ratio hit. Uh, I don't yet, Cody. I'm I've actually recorded some videos and I've started to just kind of put my thoughts on how I'm doing it together. So that's gonna be coming soon, but I don't it's not I don't have anything yet for you. I'll just give you an idea of kind of what I did today. <clears throat> so, well, let's start with the daily. So looking at soybeans, I always, I always just scan the daily charts to start the day. So when I was looking at soybeans, you can see it, it's all just price action. I'm not using any indicators or anything like that. And so what I'm doing is, you know, you see few days ago, soybeans came down and bounced, and then it came down again, bounced, came down again, bounced. And so when price came down here today, um, when I got in, I it started to bounce again. And so I'm just I'm just looking at that as, you know, this this thing looks like it's putting on a bottom. You've got a lot of a lot of wicky candles. And so when it um I got in pretty close to the open. Let's see, I got in at yeah, 8.35, so about five minutes after the open and got long. And then I just, I have my stop basically below the low of day because if it if it goes back down there, my thesis is wrong. And so I'm just, I'm out. Um, and so, so that's what I did on soybeans. So you can see I got in here. Uh, actually, it, it, so it, it pulled back pretty decent amount. I was taking some heat. I kind of chopped around, then it pushed back up, and so I entered more, and then um, pushed up. I got out of some, pulled back. I got in some more, and then just kind of then got out of some here, and then just let the rest ride till the close of day. So that's what I did on the beans. Uh, Russell. Russell was a it's it's been the weakest of the bunch all day and um you know it, it looked like it kind of pushed up to yesterday's open or Friday's open and then started to come down so I was looking for a little bit of a continuation lower um and it's just been kind of chopping so one's still a little bit red and then silver Same thing. It looked like it kind of pushed up, retraced the previous bar a little bit and was coming down for a continuation lower. So I got short silver and it's, and I, I got out of a piece of it and then, um, and it kind of bounced back up and it's just been a pretty narrow day. So not much movement on silver there, but that's, that's just kind of what I'm looking at is just, just price action, getting a thesis of what I think might happen on the daily chart. And then I'm narrowing, getting, getting on the five minute chart and either just getting in or finding a, finding a price level to get in at.
Uh, my zero DTE plan for January. Um, I don't, yeah. I mean, I've, I've, I've done some, I don't, I don't see a lot of changes coming. Obviously I'm just going to kind of power as far as power hour goes, I'm going to kind of do the same thing, take it on a day-to-day -day basis, but I don't really have any major tweaks that I'll be doing. A uh, winning trader. I am not in tranche one. No. I will evaluate potentially tranche two or three. I'd definitely trade tranche two if we got into update territory, but not quite there. Someone's on the Zoom chat. A Shumbro. Do me a favor, post in the, uh, oh yeah, Ken, thank you. Yeah, so to answer your question, A. Shumbro, um, hopefully just kind of heard what I, why, what I went over, but this, my watch list here that you see on my chart, that's what I kind of, that's what I view. Those are the futures that I look at. So for winning trader. So for tranche two, it's, you know, we're looking for three on each side. So, um, <clears throat> you know, if it's, I don't really have a definite amount that I won't do. I probably, I probably won't do anything here if we don't get into up, update territory. If we were in update territory, but premiums were going to be low like they are, I was going to potentially just sell some puts, but might just pass today. My friends might just pass, might just do the old sit on hands trade. Let my other trades work. All we need is 4742. That's all I need anyway. To get out of my AM ratio. Just a little, just come back down and test the old uh expected move area. That's all I need. Yeah, my re-entry is a 45 straddle. <clears throat> this one here. AM ratio at 35%. Come on down. Price is right. Come on down to 42. I still have an order to get out of my 6.7 for 20% at 4.70. It has not hit yet. <clears throat> like it's currently trading around 4.50. 
A little down move might get that one hit as well. Bitcoin still hanging above 40,000. Ten year yield at Would be a couple of minutes till tranche two here. I mean, you're getting almost five bucks for a straddle, it looks like right now. Uh, Cody, check the uh, check my trade plan when you look at the up day versus normal day versus down day back test. It'll show you the uh, the criteria of what what that is. It's if it's up over half percent. That would be considered an up day. And SPX is currently at 0.41%. And that's from the open, not from the previous day close. SPX hit a high of 47.49.52 for the day and for the year. Yeah, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pass on tranche two. <clears throat>
If I did anything, I would do like a two to one puts to calls. A little bullish, a little bullish skew. Tranche three is five wide. I'll do a I'll do a tranche three. SPX just does not want to give me my AM ratio, does it? Just does not want to quite give it to me. My AM or my one of my re entries here is fairly centered. On the docket for the week on economic news, nothing tomorrow. We've got building permits pre-market, but most likely won't be any impact. Wednesday, 30 minutes after the market opens, consumer confidence. Thursday, pre-market, final GDP and unemployment. Friday, pre-market core PCE price index, and then 30 minutes after the market, revised University of Michigan consumer sentiment. I'm going to add a 1-4 and a 2-4 double calendar here in about five minutes or so.
4765 and 4725 okay oh i forgot i had uh i forgot to mention At the start, I do have a, my discretionary Rick is still on and it's in the valley. So I need up to 52 to get out of the valley on that one. I did not catch the Option Omega award deal. I, I got to check out the recording. I submitted a couple. The Monday AM ratio and something else. I don't even remember now. Six, seven, I think. SPX going up to 47, 47. Oh yeah, quite lunch. Tranche three would be in a couple minutes. Might get a five wide. Getting close to update territory. So I'm going to do a tiny, tiny trade for tranche three. My AM ratio is still in the green, but just barely. There's tranche three. So I did a two to one, 45 puts, 50 calls, filled at 305. Just a little one lot.
Uh, that looks like not a put spread, Chris. That's a portfolio of different trades in that link. It's a bunch of them. That's a whole portfolio. Oh, those were all the ones discussed? How'd you trade it, Wuga? I didn't trade it. Good. Yeah, I mean you you mentioned that it I mean you you shift that any any direction one or two minutes it didn't perform nearly as well so I've I may uh I may try it out but I've I've just got on Mondays I've got many other things going so didn't didn't use it if I don't have anything going on and fits and I'll, I'll trade it All right, so my one four. Hmm. What happened there. Forty-seven sixty-five, forty-seven twenty-five. One point five billion buy side. Posted my one four.
just posted my two four. Yeah, I, I did a little one lot for tranche three. AM ratio still hanging in there. Still needs a down move. Just need down to about 43. Just a three-point down move. That's it. That is it. Uh, for tranche three, I did the 47, uh, 45 puts, 50 calls, two to one. Yeah, we'll go. That was, uh, I was with you on your analysis doing the, uh, previous, previous day increase or decrease on the spreads. And then <laughs> kind of right about the same time you posted too. I was like, wow, uh, VIX actually does, it actually acts as a better filter. Surprisingly. Yep, that's right, Kelvin. Twenty five minutes to go. Uh, Elliot, on that re-entry, just FYI, I, f I forgot it, it's a straddle, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take that one off at fifty percent instead of letting it ride. If it was a strangle, I might consider. Is your the straddle? Mine's on the 45 straddle. Mine's at about 43%. Okay. I got in at 2.19 p.m. I got filled at 1570. I'm a, it's a three, two. I'm not sure if yours is or not. Wait, 
What time did you get in? AM ratio back up to 35 and a half percent. Come on down. Okay, so you're about you're about thirty minutes ahead of me. Aim ratio at forty percent. I've been here before today. I've been here a few times today. Can we get to fifty? trying it's trying its best forty five percent forty seven it's trying. One more little push lower should hit it. This is about where I was. I was at about 46% last Monday, and then it ran away, took a loss. There it is. 50% on the AM ratio. That feels good. Tranche three doesn't like this little down move. Still at 1.5 billion buy side on the market on close. I'll be back in two minutes.
SPX at 47.44. Now I could use a little bounce. My trunch three is trading at 535, stops at 905. About 16 minutes till the bell. Price coming back down towards the uh, upper expected move line for the day. Final market on close and balance number will come out in five minutes. I'll probably close my re-entry trade before that. Still at 1.5 on the early indication. Get a bounce back up to 45. I'll close my my re-entry here. And then the only other thing I have on is the little one lot tranche three. Uh, e. Allison, I did not trade trunch one or two today. Premiums uh, were under six bucks for tranche one. Tranche two, you could have got a low premium straddle.
Well, it looks like my six seven's not going to hit that 20% today. Had my order sitting there all day at 470. No Fed speakers this week, I guess. They all got tired of talking. Yeah, mark it on close in a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna close my last re-entry here. Just hoping we get a little bounce up to 45, not quite there. And got out at 9.30 for about 40% profit. Yeah, there, there he goes. Now it's starting to bounce. So the only thing I have left here is my tranche three, which is slightly red, but could use a bounce. 100 million to the sell side. Oh, 800 million sell side. So it flipped from 1.5 billion buy to 800 million sell. It's coming down a little bit. So I need above 45 for a pin between 45 and 50. about 44. So it looks like all three tranches would be doing just fine so far. Anybody trade all three tranches? Dick K, of course. <laughs> Vic still hanging around 12.49.
Here we go, back above 45. I get if I pin my tranche three, it's for a whole three hundred and twenty dollars. Let's go. Yep, agreed. There's $300 laying there. Might as well pick it up. Five minutes till the bell. Can we make it happen, Tranche 3? Down to forty threes. Need a little bounce here in the last couple minutes. Nice, Michael Todd. All winners: AM Iron Condor, P two H, Tranche one, two, three, and four. Very nice. Down to forty two. Got no bid here on my calls. Down to forty one. All right, I'm at 780. All right, so AM ratio made a little over 5,100. We got a re-entry for about 915, another re-entry for a little over 1100, quiet lunch for 2500, another re-entry for 805, another re-entry for four, uh, 640, and then my tranche three ended up being minus 475. For a grand total on all my bots, trades of 10,769 and 99 cents. Gotta love Mondays. Oh, Rick. Yeah, that's not a bot trade, but yeah, Rick is probably 
<laughs> right in the valley. <laughs> I got to take that away. I forgot about Rick. Yeah, that'll be minus 5,900. Unless we tank. Crash, crash, crash. At least, at least get down so it's not a max loss. One minute to go. A little five point drop. That would help. Forty seven forty. Yeah. When Rick, when price pushed above, because I, I took the discretionary Rick right here when we pushed up to the expected move. So I was thinking, well, if we explode higher, it's fine. Or if we bounce off of it, that's fine. And we just kind of chopped around. I almost closed it for a scratch here and I just kept it. So unfortunately... No bueno on Rick, but everything else good. Nice dick, Kay. All right, my friends, uh, we'll be back tomorrow. So as far as live stream goes, tomorrow is December 19th. So yeah, Chad will be streaming in the morning and then we'll be back for power hour. All right, all have a good night. Talk to you soon.